Welcome back to our adventures in Freeman. I've been having a lot of fun off screen here, uh, amusingly enough, because usually I'm just like, okay, we should definitely record this, 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 and this. But <laughs> I get carried away in Freeman. And, uh, well, basically, I've done a quest. I've done a quest to destroy a bandit camp. You can see here it has a four-star difficulty. And we're going to gain 12,000 credits and 1,700 experience, as well as a shotgun. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be using a shotgun. I don't think it's really my kind of weapon, at least for the moment. And, uh, yeah, so I destroyed a bandit camp, which was all the way over there somewhere next to Gorinka. And I have now returned to the town which gave me the quest initially. And there you go. We can now report that we did it and gain a huge amount of experience and cash. And I now have 35,000 in cash. I don't know what I'm really going to do with it. I think I'm going to level up our forces just a little bit more because levels in this game really mean a huge amount. So if you are indeed playing alongside me, I would definitely recommend trying to level your units up before anything else. Obviously, gear is really, really important as well. But I feel like level ups and getting these proficiencies to a high standard is very, very much priority. Anyway, I have been outfitting our forces in more night vision goggles and things like that as well. As you see right here, we have some more for those guys. I need another three to outfit these last three. And then we will have two full squads with night vision goggles equipped. And also, I've done a little bit of outfitting with these guys too. I'm going to be auto equipping them. There you go. I did just loot a whole bunch of heavy tactical vests. So technically, if I wanted to, what I could do is... Wait, am I wearing that? Yeah, I am actually wearing that. Okay, phew. I thought to myself, oh, I'm going to give these guys some really good armor. Uh, yeah, anyway, point is... If I wanted to, I could give this armor to uh, some of our other forces, but I feel like this group really needs that additional, you know, that additional punch, a little bit more defense and things like that. Now, what I don't understand here is AKMs. Okay, so AKMs are really, really good. So, yeah, what we're going to do is I'm going to be giving these guys AKMs. And we're going to try and take away any of the other, yeah, like the MK-14, for example. Don't know why they would choose the MK-14. I know a bunch of people said in the comments that the armed bodyguards were taking the SMGs because they had a higher proficiency in SMGs. But you can blatantly see right here that the assault rifle proficiency is exactly the same as the SMG proficiency. So I don't know what really constitutes them taking the UMPs over the other assault rifles that would potentially give them more damage so it's a bit weird anyway for example this m4 right here gives 123 damage and i bet if i let's just test it out real quick so let's uh, oh yeah there is actually an akm available but let's just give the m4 there and then we're going to auto equip no, no, it seems like it seems like they're they're keeping it. Okay, they they are actually keeping it this time around. Okay, so that's pretty good. Anyway, what I'm going to do is going to give this AKM 74 to this guy and any yeah, we do have another AKM. Yeah, so these guys are obviously going to be getting medkits as well. And then they will be I think they're going to be pretty good. I mean, I don't have any helmets for them at the moment. I don't have any chest armor either. I do have some black masks, but it's not really necessary because I'm probably going to be attempting to get them Marauder masks because I, as you could no doubt tell, bought one of these Marauder helmets for myself and uh, well, it's doing a pretty decent job so far because it gives me 50 armor, which is just crazy good. So I'm very, very happy with that. Otherwise, I'm going to be selling the AK-12s probably going to sell the AKSs as well and we're just going to sell everything really because what I'd like to do is try and get a good amount of cash and uh, then see where we go from there because the, this this cash is so incredibly important as I said for level ups for gear and all kinds of other things so I'm thinking I might try to buy a two times scope because I do have 39,000 and I should be able to use this. So let's buy the M145, which is a two times scope. And we will try to affix it to our scar. I hope it will work. 
Yes, it seems to work. Okay, that's good. Now, as you've also seen, no doubt, I have leveled up. So it would probably be a good idea for me to level something here. And I am probably going to try and level up. I'm thinking constitution so that I don't die as fast. And maybe I can increase my inventory and marching speed on the world map. That is definitely going to make a difference to the amount of money we make as well. Because, of course, then I will have more space to take more loot and otherwise i'm going to just continue leveling up my assault rifle proficiency there we go nice now we have 70 we're gonna we're gonna almost get to laser status because that is definitely what we want to do all right so otherwise i'm just gonna stack up on a whole bunch of ammo here and we're gonna try and do a couple more quests because i feel like the quests are pretty much worth it they are very very worth it because what you can get is a bunch of rewards for the quest itself and you're also going to be getting rewards for the actual battle so that really really helps anyway let's go to the mission board and it doesn't seem like there's anything else here that is really going to be too good for us i mean you can get eight thousand look at that you can get eight thousand uh, that's, that's pretty good but you do have to capture bandits specifically and that is going to be kind of difficult in my opinion so we're probably not going to do that maybe another bandit camp destruction quest would be in order for us and i did end up selling a few of our prisoners because they were so incredibly valuable i sold the terrorists and the various other units for a lot of cash basically my rule for prisoners going forward is that i am going to try and sell to the ransom broker i'm gonna sell everything that is above 5,000 credits and anything below that i'm just gonna wait for the ransoms to come in and we'll see whether that makes any difference for us okay so we have to destroy a looter camp here or a looter camp okay so it just it just changes the weapon that you're gonna get i don't really care either way so i guess we'll just we'll just take the mk14 can i take both of these I think I can. I don't know whether it's going to. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether it's going to count for both quests. But if it does, that's going to be kind of insane. But anyway, let's go into the direction of two looter camps, just because we may very well be able to complete both of those. And we now and, and we need to return to Minov after that. I need to be a bit careful as well that I don't run into any enemies that are going to murder us like no one's business the uman brotherhood terrorists are probably going to be quite hard for us at the moment maybe not i mean you know we might surprise ourselves but we're going to go and head into this looter camp right here there are 35 enemies but let me tell you my 12 which i'm going to be sending in in just a second have won against 25 terrorists and terrorists are much better than raiders and looters and various other, you know, units that I would have fought in the bandit camp itself. So that's pretty cool and quite impressive for the armed bodyguards. The armed bodyguards do seem to be pretty effective at what they do, especially considering they have at, I believe, I think they're like level 11 or level 12 now. They have 91 in assault rifles and SMG proficiency and that is insane in my opinion i think that's a, such a it's such a great proficiency level to have for such a cheap unit and uh, i i gotta say thank you very much to the person that recommended the armed bodyguards to me in the comments because it is just a fantastic unit it really is for such a cheap price you can literally get one for 1000 without any gear and then you can just kit them out in whatever gear you know you find and smgs are pretty common for you to find and that is just amazing in my opinion okay so look at this we've got a two time zoom now and <laughs> this is oh this is insane wow okay yeah this is kind of insane we are absolutely fine now i would like a four time zoom next but I think the two time zoom is going to do absolutely fine for us right now. You can see how much damage I am actually capable of doing now because I can literally see the enemy instead of just randomly shooting in a particular direction and then hoping I hit. You know what I mean? Because that's generally what I've had to do. 
up until this time because I just had, you know, iron sights. And iron sights, while they are decent and absolutely fine in close quarters combat and maybe mid-range, it was starting to be a bit difficult to hit from long range. Alright, so I think we're going to be absolutely fine here. I mean, it is literally just looters and we shouldn't have too many difficulties with them. And I just got to say, I love this scope. And that's another recommendation I'm going to make. If you are having difficulties shooting the enemy in any way, then try to save up a little bit of cash. You know, if you have to, just stay away from battles and just try to do trading, you know? Because if you want to, you can, you know, build a trader from the very beginning and you can literally just go crazy with the amount of cash that you can make from trading. I mean, I've shown in my previous series that trading is extremely effective. I'm not entirely sure if it is just as effective in this version, but I would assume that to be the case. I have not done trading at all in this version because we were able to start with those three Federal Infantry. So, yeah, anyway, the point is, is that if you're not too confident in your combat abilities, which I'm obviously not, then it's probably a good idea to try and do some trading first, get your guys kitted out, and then head in against some lower tier bandits or something like that to test out your newfound capabilities and then you can go on from there and see what's going on and that's exactly what i mean about freeman there are so many different ways you can play the game it really is fantastic because even though you're not really going to get level ups with your troops if you just do trading that doesn't really matter so much because eventually you're going to be able to get into battles and if you've outfitted them with some really really good gear because, of course, that's eventually going to be the case. You know, if you have an overwhelming amount of cash from your trades, from, you know, coming across some random bandits here and there, then you're eventually going to have a decent amount of money, and that money will be used to, uh, well, just get whatever you want, really. I mean, you know, the level is going to make a difference because eventually you are going to not have enough armor proficiency or some kind of proficiency to equip a particular weapon or armor, and then you're probably going to need to do some battles. But I'm just saying that initially, trading is a really, really good alternative. And we're just going to imprison those guys. There we go. And I don't know whether you noticed, but I killed so many of those enemies because of this scope. This scope is just an absolutely insane godsend. Really is. Really fantastic. I am very pleased that I decided to, you know, spend 30,000 on that. I thought to myself, oh, maybe it's a little bit much, you know. Maybe it's a bit much because it is so incredibly expensive. Ah, yeah. So it doesn't count for both quests, as you would expect. But we're going to go over to this other looter camp here. And we'll see what we can do. Ooh, we've got to be a bit careful here, actually, because we don't want to have these other looters in the camp at the same time as us attacking. Because even though the looters are really not very good, I mean, you know, they, they used to be a lot more effective in a previous version of Freeman, but they're not meant to be, you know? They're not meant to be super powerful. So we're just going to be going in with our, you know, same standard guys, and we're not really going to do that much in the way of tactics, because it's not necessary by any means. But this scope is so nice. It really is. It's so clean as well. There's no clutter on the crosshair whatsoever, you know, it's just a scope, you know, you go with the intersection of the crosshair and then just shoot, and then boom. Because of the proficiency that we have, we have 70 now, it is definitely making all the difference in turning our weapon into some kind of amazing laser beam. So I'm very happy about that. Otherwise, what I'm going to try to do is going forward, once I am rolling in cash, once I have taken my first town or something like that, and uh, started reaping, you know, all the benefits of that, you know, getting uh, production going, you know, maybe maybe trying to create some items to sell, things like that, getting some taxes as well from the town, then I'm going to try, if I, if I can, to get some, um, probably some scars. I'm going to try and get some scars for my forces. Basically, I am going to try and get everyone scars, with the exception of the units that I want to use different things. So, for example, once I start recruiting specialist units, and that is going to happen sooner rather than later. Don't worry about that. I'm going to recruit some of those sea lion guys. And I'm going to get some of those owl snipers and things like that. Once I get some of those guys in the ranks, they're 
of course, going to be using the weapons that they are good with. I'm not going to force them to use a weapon that they're bad with. Like, you know, if they're not really good with assault rifles, then of course I'm not going to be giving them an assault rifle. So, yeah, don't worry about that. I have played Freeman before. I have played many, many episodes of it. And I think this is like season 9 or something like that. So, it is... It's going from strength to strength. The game is just great. It's very, very good. And if you are having difficulties, I think I, I think I read a comment the other day that said that uh, the aiming, the aiming in the game is really, really difficult. And I gotta say, there is something you can do to try and prevent that from happening. Reduce the sensitivity of your uh, of your movement, you know, of your aiming and things like that, because there are separate sliders in the options menu for every single kind of magnification. So for example, if you, uh, let's say because I have a two time zoom, if you ha if you start the game from a uh, regular perspective, so let's say I'm a new player and I'm just loading up the game for the first time and I see that, uh, you know, I see that it's really hard to aim and things like that. Well, what am I gonna do first? Well, obviously, uh, you know, turning V-Sync off is probably a good, a good start. But if you've already done that and you already and you find it kind of difficult still, then go into the options, change the control sensitivity for, in my case, two time zoom, change it down to like 30 percent, you know, something like that. 35, you know, obviously it depends on your mouse's sensitivity as well. I think I'm playing with. Uh, am I playing with 4800 DPI or something like that? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it, it might be that, or it's, it's 3,000 or something along those lines. But it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's whatever is most comfortable for you. And the game is going to be able to change to whatever is comfortable. So, you know, just consider that. Consider reducing the sensitivity. That is going to make a huge difference. Because let me tell you, I started off this series with all of the sensitivity gauges at like, I think it was 60, 70, maybe even 80%. And that was just too, too much for me. It was just way too much, so I had to lower it. And now I'm aiming extremely nicely. I feel comfortable with the aim as well. It's making all the difference. So uh, yeah, otherwise we're gonna be gaining 14,000 from this. And I won't be able to buy anything here. I, uh, are there any, sc uh, not scopes, are there any scars here? No, I don't think so. Oh, there is a scar, but it's 22,000. Obviously I'm not gonna be doing that right now. That's a little bit too much for me to justify. I could buy some heavy assault armor soon if I wanted to kit myself out into in, in, in you know in the utter best armor possible, but I don't think I really need to do that. I haven't leveled up yet. Some of my forces have leveled up. I do need to get one more armed bodyguard, by the way, for the relish squad. So definitely gonna need to do something about that. Do we have any chest armor? Yeah, we do have some chest armor. Okay, so let's give this guy the uh, black leather jacket. Do we have any helmets? No, I'm going to need to buy some helmets. So let's go in there and, uh, well, let me just see. Ah, uh, oh, there is one. Should I just buy the 17,000 one? What, what, what do they come with? They come with a UMP and they come with a police vest. That's pretty good. That is, that is pretty good. Huh. They come with a UMP and a police vest. A police vest is not, I don't think it's that expensive. Uh... I don't really want to spend that much, so I'm just going to buy for a thousand. And then we should buy some helmets. So let's buy some steel helmets because we can and they are pretty cheap. Yeah, I think that's basically all I can do here as well. I could buy some... Oh no, light combat vest is very expensive. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. Let's go here. Give these guys all helmets. There we go. <laughs> the guy in the middle's missing out, that's for sure. Okay, so let's give this guy over here. Let's just take off all his stuff. Uh, let's see, uh, he doesn't have a weapon either, that's fine. We'll just give him a med kit. And I think we can give these guys all grenades now as well. We're starting to get this squad kitted out very, very nicely indeed. But, as I say, don't worry, we will be kitting everyone out in weapons that are going to suit them. Because I did see a comment that said, Oh, you should probably get some snipers. And yes, I am definitely going to get some snipers. I, I really do need to go over to Posna territory to get those owl snipers or something along those lines. Because the owl snipers are just so good. They seem so good at least. Oh, and hello there. There's 16,000 for the Federal Machine Gunner. I'll take it. 
I will take the 16,000. I think that that's much, much more beneficial than the unit itself. So, you know, you can blame me if you think that that was a mistake, but I think personally 16,000 credits is going to be much, much better because then I can get some more of uh, these guys. Yes, look at what? They have 3,000. Three, ah, they're so cheap. And look, look at that. Rifles. 88 proficiency at level 1. Level 1. What do they come with? Oh, they come with SVD. Whoa, SVD rifles and grenade launchers and night vision goggles. <laughs> wow. No wonder they are 65,000. Okay, well, I'm going to buy all of those. Yeah, I'm going to buy all of these. Why not? Let's do it. And I'm going to buy another helmet as well. I think I probably need to do that. I guess I'll just buy an old helmet. And we could buy some militia vests as well. There we go. Okay. So that seems pretty good to me. And those guys will just stay there and just level up, basically. So let's get that guy this. He's going to be able to get a rifle relatively soon anyway. So I don't really need to get him a weapon. Wow. You see how much it, you see how expensive this is? It's just crazy. And these guys are only level nine. That is amazing. Okay, well, there it is. All right, so let's, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we have the quests. Oh yes, we, we have 35 hours to return to, where am I going? Minov, yes, that's it. Okay, so let us go to Minov and maybe we'll fight something along the way. But, uh, oh yeah, I don't know whether you've noticed, but this was taken by the Chenivkan front away from the Uman Brotherhood. And they seem to be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of, well, skirmishing around here. And, uh, well, all kinds of things are going on. Everyone's trying to take Smolyanka away from, well, everyone. So that's kind of interesting. And we do need to be a bit careful of these terrorists. They are going to probably murder me. I think they are all equipped with grenade launchers or something like that. So you probably want to be a bit cautious. And otherwise, uh, Minov was under siege, but now it is no longer under siege. Okay, kind of weird. All right, so quest complete. Another 10,000 credits, another 10,000 credits. There we go. 20,000 right there. Or we should have 20,000. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, so... Ooh, Scorpion Assault guys. What are they good at? They are really good at assault rifles. They've got a good sight range as well. Sight range is a really important stat to look out for too. What do they come with? If I... Oh, they come with AKM-74s. Ooh. They're real... Oh, they come with grenade launchers too? And combat helmets? I think these guys are probably the best units you can get for specialist units. Because they come with such good gear. The AKM-74 AKM is a great rifle. And decent body armor. Decent helmet. Grenade launcher. Medkit grenade. That's amazing. The setup right there. So I think I'm... Should I buy some of these too? Should I buy some of these too? Yes, let's go for it. Why not? And shall we get some more armed bodyguards? I could. In theory. In theory, I could do that. I don't know whether it's necessary though. I do have an MK14 now, so I could give that to my snipers, but I don't think I'm going to insult them with that weapon because they probably want something a little bit better than that. Let's face it. All right, so we've leveled those guys up now as well. These guys need helmets. Why do these guys not have helmets? Am I an idiot? Yes, I think so. All right, so let's... <laughs> bike helmets. Should I really put them... No, I'm not going to give them bike helmets. I'm going to give them... Uh, I'll give them MP helmets, I suppose. And we'll just sell this stuff. The desert armor could come in handy, so we'll just sell the rest that I don't really need. There we go. All right. So these guys will finally have helmets. Let's just auto-equip them. There we go. And these fellows... Yeah, they can't really get anything just yet. Okay, so there you go. We completed that. We got a good amount of experience. I unfortunately did not level up. Oh, I am so close to leveling up. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is... Should we try and attack some Cossack rebels? These guys are going to be kind of hard. Because as far as I'm aware, they're mid-tier bandits. Are they going to attack me? You going to attack? No? They don't really want to attack me, so I'm going to try it. Let's see if we can win against these Cossack rebels. I mean, as we've seen, I'm a lot more effective in combat myself. 
And my units are decent. So we should we should be able to surprise them, perhaps. It is a desert map, so we don't really have the best camouflage for this. But we'll try it. We'll try it nevertheless, and we'll see how it goes. I have 181 HP. I shouldn't die in one hit because of my amazing helmet now, because I used to have about 30 armor, and now I have 50. So it's almost double, so that's pretty good. And, oh, I, I don't even see... Oh, there they are. Should I try and shoot them from here? Okay, well, that worked. And that worked. <laughs> yes, the importance of a scope, everyone. That is kind of crazy. That I was able to hit from here is just... Wow, okay. I'm not praising my skill, by the way. I'm just praising the fact that we have this scope that is enabling us to do such amazing damage. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. And I have leveled up now, which is great. And that is exactly the purpose of this attack. I should really try and level up my marksmanship a little bit more as well, because maybe if I level it up significantly enough, I should theoretically be able to increase my damage per shot so much that I might be able to kill higher tier units in one or, or well, maybe two. Well, I would probably say two or three hits more than anything because they're more than likely going to have great armor. But you never know. Maybe at some point I'll be able to get a headshot and kill someone in one hit instead of them just shrugging it off, which is not what they're doing nowadays. But they, they were. They were doing that. Got to be a bit careful. Yes, I've got to be a bit careful here. I really don't want to get myself murdered because of my ineptitude by going really close to the enemy. Is he is he dead? Yeah, I think that guy I think that guy was dead. I was like, wait a minute, is that the crosshair for when I actually hit someone or is that the crosshair for when he's actually dead? Oh well never mind. Twenty one thousand. Look at that. That was really, really good. Twenty one thousand credits for that and three thousand experience on top of that, we have now heavy Kevlar vests. Yes, that is exactly what we want. Very nice indeed. And let's take some of these olive t-shirts because I am going to need some t-shirts for our for our friends, for our friends that are bare chested at the moment. So let's just auto equip them and they have all equipped that fantastic gear. And yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though t-shirts get automatically equipped most of the time. So, you have to kind of do that. There we go. Let's get those guys. Yeah, there we are. Everyone's looking much, much better now. Let's see if we can... Oh, no, okay. I want to try and replace that PDR, because the PDR is not exactly the greatest thing ever. So, anyway, let's get a new squad. And, uh... We're gonna... We're gonna... Uh, Hollandaise? Hollandaise sauce? I think someone said Hollandaise sauce. So, yeah, why not? Let's do it. I think that's how it's spelt. I apologize if it's not how it's spelt. But, anyway... Auto group up. Oh yes, these guys. And uh, I don't know why the auto group up did them in this order, but there you go. Okay, those guys are looking <laughs> very stylish. They could walk down the catwalk very soon. Anyway, uh, I have 25,000. That is enough to level these guys up again. But do I want to? Not really. Not right now, at least. What else do I have here? Okay, so I need more night vision goggles. And these guys are... I think these guys are pretty much ready to go into battle next time around. So Relish is going to grace us with their presence in the next episode. And uh, I have now leveled up as well. So that's really nice. Anyway, if you would like to see me attack a town in the next episode, by all means, let me know. And I'll see what I can do. Maybe we'll try and <laughs> attack Small Yanka, which is obviously the one town that is consistently under siege at the moment. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.